So much love and appreciation to those of you who have been with me for the two year period plus that I've been doing this. Um, thank you for showing your uh, love and support to the channel and to anybody else who is brand new to the platform and you would like to support the channel. Also, you can do it by way of Patreon, Anchor, the clothing store, and also the shoe shop that is listed in the comment description below. And again, thank you to any and all of you guys who have been here to support this channel during the two plus year period. I wouldn't be able to do what I do every single day without you. Regulators continue to paw over the acquisition before its approval. Rest Era spotted a questionnaire submitted in Brazil in which the PlayStation maker was asked about its thoughts on the nearly $70 billion deal. Its response are fascinating because it's in the firm best interest for a buyout to get blocked, even if Microsoft has claimed that the franchise like Call of Duty will remain multi-platform. Specifically, the manufacturer points out that Call of Duty is, quote, an essential game, a blockbuster, a AAA type game that has no rival and a release that can influence users console choice. Sony states that it's impossible, impossible to create a competitor. And even if it could stump up the cost, the series is so entrenched that it would not be able to rival it. Quote, each annual Call of Duty release takes approximately three to five years to develop. As Activision releases one Call of Duty game per year, this equates to an annual investment of hundreds of millions of dollars. Approximately 1,200 people work on each version and another 1,500 are involved in publishing and distribution. Thus, Call of Duty alone has more developers than most game companies employ across its entire development portfolio, even AAA Studios. It also stated, no other developer can devote the same level of resources and expertise in game development. Even if they could, Call of Duty is overly entrenched so that no rival, no matter how relevant, can catch up. It also stated that the series defines the first-person shooter category and provided comparisons to Battlefield to illustrate that there are no contests between the brands. Quote, Players will be unlikely to switch to alternative games as they would lose their familiarity, those skills, and even those friends that they made playing that game. Even in weaker years like 2021, Call of Duty still managed to outperform most other games by a considerable margin. Call of Duty Vanguard, for example, was widely regarded as weaker than previous year titles, but was still one of the best-selling games of 2021. In other words, even in a bad year, players remain loyal to the brand and continue to buy the game. Just to put a little bit in there to showcase what Sony was taking place, let's go back to 2009, right? Back in 2009, there was a game on PS3 called Mag, right? And they touted Mag as a large uh, support sized shooter where it would have up to 256 players waging battles as a squad of eight. And we can clearly see how that went. That was, you know, supposedly going to be a Call of Duty rival. That was going to be a Call of Duty killer. That was supposed to be all of these things. And it fell flat. It burned as soon as it launched. And nobody, even people who are Sony fans, nobody talks about that game. Nobody even brings up that failure of a shooter that was an exclusive that Sony themselves, in a sense, uh, brought out. That was on their system. And here we are right now. <laughs> where we have Sony talking about, hey, yo, it's, it's pretty much impossible. Uh, you know, we done went through the whole ring of Moreau and we, we've we tried to, you know, come out with a multitude of different ways uh, to try to, you know, uh, combat this. And it's just impossible to do, a.k.a. we are not willing to put forth the money um, because we don't realistically see it as a necessity, even though we see it as somewhat of a problem, right? This is my thing as a gamer. Why cry about something becoming potentially exclusive or locked to one console now? When this is what Sony's bread and butter is. Every single time that Sony has a talk, anytime that stuff is brought up in Sony Magazine, any conversation that we have, any podcast that gets talked about, when you turn on a PS5 or a PS4, whatever it is that deals with Sony, they always talk about exclusivity. 
how things are strictly exclusive that you'll only be able to find it here that you can never get it anywhere else so your best bet if you want to play this you better sit up there and get you a ps5 or a ps4 if you want to play that brand new god of war make sure you have a ps4 or ps5 make sure you spend that money to give to sony so that you're able to play these games so i don't really see a problem with what it is that microsoft is doing if there is any potentiality right that call of duty is going to become an exclusive thing that is only going to be on pc right and on xbox i don't see what the issue is because this is the same thing that sony has been doing for years anybody remembers when spider-man was on xbox i do <laughs> i do like i said there, there there's a lot of examples and other games that can be brought up and to showcase what it is that I'm stating, more than likely the new Wolverine um, game that's going to come out is going to be exclusive to what? PlayStation. So, you know, like I said before, it is what it is at the end of the day. Sony has played this game for so long. And now when you have somebody else potentially about to play the exact same game, now people want to start crying and want to start calling foul. All of the, uh, the comments that I see directly on Twitter, it looks pretty ridiculous. There's no reason for any Sony fan to be crying because y'all got exclusives. Y'all got y'all games, you know, that y'all love playing is going to keep you directly on that console and, and everything else. It's good for the goose. It's good for the gander. Anybody remember when uh, Destiny had some DLC and everybody else had to wait a full fledged year plus just to get that little bit of DLC? I do. <laughs> <laughs> and that was all sony's doing because they wanted to throw money they wanted to sit up there and make sure that they had everybody flocking over to this because destiny was the hot thing so what did sony sit up there and do they got the company that basically got destiny and now they're going to you know push for some bigger production um because in a sense this is sony's only way of in a sense getting their foot in the door when it deals with a shooter and I'm not sure how long they're going to realistically be able to keep up with making something new and different with Destiny. Realistically, for me, they're going to have to change a lot of things in order to really make it competitive, in order to really make it shine. And on top of that, they're really going to have to change uh, the way that the DLC is marketed and how the consumer has been treated over the years when it comes to every single additional feature when it deals with destiny especially with a lot of the weapons you know quote unquote getting sunsetted um and other things such as if you have the dlc but your friend doesn't have the dlc well somebody better buy that dlc like i said there's a lot of anti-consumerish scammy shady you know uh type of things that that go on with a lot of these companies like i said if if sony really wants to make a dent or they want to be competitive with shooters they could easily do it they could very easily do it they got the money to do it they just decide that they don't want to do it they want to focus on what single player games they're worried about the multiplayer side because that's going to pull a lot of people if they're worried about it that much how about this so xbox will keep the shooting side and sony has the single player japanese games right and now they have destiny right why doesn't sony try to acquire some sports games so that those sports games are strictly only on playstation how about that why not do that or is it because the sports games still aren't pulling as much money right as call of duty does every single year like i said before man hey it is what it is no use in crying when you could have did this you know from the get-go years ago and you wouldn't be here but hey this is the game that you wanted to play for all of these years so now you got somebody else to play with you 